I mean, when those bucks drop their horns, um, they're going to start regrowing the next set if everything's, all the reserves are rebuilt in their body. And a lot of people do. They'll feed January through August, then they'll shut it down because they think those deer just need maintenance. And if you think about it, whether we're talking about bucks or does, during the winter time, they've got their body condition, they're hulked up and everything else. But all the mineral reserves, which what grows antlers, and all the you know minerals that that does have been bleeding out, they've all been leached out of their long bones. So if we wait until next spring to start feeding again, and we, we stop feeding that October to January window, we gotta start over again. And we're gonna have to feed them for about 30 or 60 days, or they're gonna have to get some good spring groceries before they're gonna start regrowing those antlers, before you know the doe's gonna have enough body condition or to even carry a fawn if they get you know sucked down bad enough. But it's it's ideally you can feed 365 days a year, that's what we want. Now that's not economically feasible for a lot of people, but you get benefits on both sides of the fence. Whether we're talking about the antler growth window or we're talking about the winter window. Um, and the good thing is if you are on a budget and you want to supplementally feed October through January, um, you can do a lot more with less. You don't need the highest powered protein that we make. You can get by with a 14 to 16% protein type ration that has a 3% fat that doesn't have all the bells and whistles in it as long as it has a decent mineral fat.